Right, here I've got an A3 printer. It's the HP K7100. It's an A3 printer. A couple of quests for the bigger ones, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a CIS onto this, and it is harder than the uh, normal setup, but at the same time, easily done. Just ignore anything else that's lying around. You've got your printer there, you've got your CIS, anything else on the left hand side it's just spare parts, experimentation and everything I just haven't had time to clean up this morning right, um, we've got the, the um, printer ready and off camera I've done uh, this, I've put this on which will obviously come with a kit the CIS is already ready with the four air filters in you take the small bung out the top and you put the air filter in the top there it will come with that much ink in it but you will get extra bottles as well I would suggest that straight away you fill it up to about there and never let it go be below 15 mil because it will get air in the system but I put that much in so it doesn't leak in transit and I put this clip on here if you see this it, it just undoes I'll try and do it with one hand yet it just undoes I've already put that in place that's to hold this piping here so you've got that clip there and that clip there I've done my video already so that you're ready the CIS is in place what we've got to do is put the CIS in now I've got the printer switched on it won't uh, start flying around everywhere and uh, hurting your hand it's switched on obviously no cartridges in there so what we're going to do by hand is push the carriage across to the left there that is so we can put these cartridges feed them under here and through I just turned it that tiny bit yeah and you got them through so it's under that bar there right so we've got it through here then what we've got to do by hand is push that across to the right now HP have got these clips on and you would think that it's impossible to do it it is a little bit harder but it's not as hard as they think it would be what we have to do is lift the clips up ready to put the cartridges in now what I've done here I've moved the camera and I've also put a lighting to place here so you can see in here better now under here there is a little clip that pushes the cartridge back with a spring on it now there's one on each one now if you just put your cartridges in and push it will trap so you've got to be careful what you do here and what you have to do is put your cartridges in as normal but don't click them back like this right don't click them right back what you have to do is watch at the back where that little clip comes down here and just push your cartridge forward a little bit so that that hinge or that little clip there catches your cartridge and there's a little you can't see it very well on the video but there's a little groove in there and that will actually go over the yellow then it will push the cartridge back and allow you to do the, the um, piping I've got that bit twisted there just pull it through and now on the left hand side there is a little groove you can't help but see it put your piping in the groove and click it down now that's got the colour in you do with the same with the black don't push it right back just pull it forward a bit until that little catch catches the bit that sticks up on the cartridge then push it down and it'll click in and those cartridges are in place and what I'm going to do I'm going to move the video around here and you see this this is where the black piping is going through there's a little groove there that will fit and here anywhere here see if I can get in there yep yeah, that's where the whole lot of piping in and the colours go up like that so they do fit in but you have to be a bit more careful and use your head a bit if you, if, you, if you have a look at it you'll see exactly what I mean we've got the cartridges in and we've got to get the rest of the piping done so I'll switch it off at the minute and uh, move the camera and then come back on right as you can see the piping is coming out to the left at a small angle leaning this way but what you've got to do is bring it to the left and make sure that there's no twists in it just make sure it's coming out straight then hook it under there I'll put that side up there so it goes easier so if you see here it's coming out to the left curling up on itself and back across the top of that there 
across the top of that black catch. And this little thing comes with the catch, that one there, look. And all you do, hold the piping in place. This will fit in to the two, any two holes. And there, we've got the piping in place. You can clip it on there. I'll just move that light over so you can see it clearer. Can you see that? That's in place. And then we come across to the left, straight across and into this one and click that into place so that's going to hold the piping in place if you look at that now that's coming from there all the way across under and across to the cartridges obviously you don't want this too tight under here but again you don't want it too loose that's about the correct one there I'm just going to move it up to the top of the clip that's, that's about the right position for it there get some light onto it and if you can watch that there let's get into it a bit better right can you I'm sure you can see all that that's how it goes then all we've got to do now is see if the cartridge is actually now your printer knows that it is open there's a catch here that when you close it it goes into there we're going to be open a bit because of the piping so we've got to fool the printer into thinking the lid's totally shut so we just get a bit of paper into that hole anything you want push it down so that it thinks that it's shut and the printer just gone through a little movement because it thinks that the lid is shut if you look at it now it's moving about because it thinks the lid's closed even though it's not these bits of tape by the way I mean you've got one there you've got them around here it's only because it's a brand new printer somebody's actually bought this I'm setting it up and giving them the video as part of the deal so don't take any notice of the bits of uh, tape they're only there because it's brand new right so we've got it all in let's see if it prints well as you can see I've got A4 paper in here but it goes up to there with A3 but we're okay printing on A4 we just want to know that it prints with this in and it goes left to right so I'll go to the computer and click on print and we should start printing on here pretty quick there you go it's moved straight away as you see it's gone across to the left as far as it will go so we know that's okay just pulling the paper through and we've got it on a really quick print here not because um, well the only reason is because so that it doesn't take a long time printing on the video you haven't got to stop there watching video uh, all the time but just watching it print but you can see there it's bringing them out I've done the four colours there you go it's printed all four so that was pretty quick that print it's still going through its normal procedure look and it's across to the right and it's ready to print again you've obviously got the different properties that you can print on you can go fast or best quality and things like that so you can see that it actually prints we've got it all set up that's how to do the K7100 and I'm now just going to put this light away and show you or remind you of a couple of things you have that set up it must be the same height as a printer don't have it higher because if you do gravity takes over and floods these here so same height if you can't put it on the same height don't buy it take the small plugs out and put your air vents in all four that's important this clips on it's going across curling under on itself and going back to the cartridges make sure there's no twists that's important and you've got your piece of paper in there to make it think the lid is closed you can actually close the lid and carry on printing actually while I'm talking to you now I'll tell you to print again with the lid down but it is obviously up that tiny bit here so it thinks that the lid's down so it'll carry on printing there you go it's printing with the uh, lid almost down you will need that piece of paper though because these pipings here it doesn't go down totally so you're going to need that piece of paper or something in that there to make it think there you go look at that it's printing perfectly with the lid down a3 a4 it's up to you and just one final thing when they come across in here don't put your cartridges right back to start with put them in look underneath and you'll see a catch about here and here it actually pushes the cartridge back and holds them don't push them right back just slowly put them in until you can see the catch touches that back bit that sticks up then push it back 
and it will work perfectly just like it is now. That's about it. Thanks for watching.